Seventy years ago, Stevenage was no more than a small rural town. Since then, it's become home to more than 80,000 people, the first so-called new town of the post-war era. Today marks its 70th birthday, and Kate Bradbrook has been looking at its history and what the future has in store. Stevenage is to be transformed from a country area into a bustling new town of 50,000 people. It was an ambitious plan to provide much-needed housing and ease the pressure on post-war London. In 1946, this quiet area of Hertfordshire was earmarked to become a new town. This is a momentous day in the history of Stevenage. In the coming years, more than 60,000 people made Stevenage their home. The Queensway shopping precinct was given the royal seal of approval, as was the modern, purpose-built housing. Now, to get a sense of what the new homes in Stevenage were like, we need to come here to the museum. This is a kitchen inside a 1960s terrace house. But one person who lived through all of this is Don Hills, who was a reporter on the Beds and Hearts Express throughout Stevenage being built. Don, what was it like? Great success. From the point of view of the people who moved in in the 1950s, to the people, their children and their grandchildren who have stayed here and are here today. Here then is the design for living of the future. A town planned down to the last nail. Planned to be lived in and enjoyed by 80,000 of the citizens of tomorrow. I absolutely love the place. The motto of the town is the heart of a town is in its people. The cycle lanes, the amount of space there is. You've got everything you need in Steve Nage. Like, you can't find anything, everything's here. I have lived here 67 years. It's been a good place to bring a family up. May the, 7th, 1946, when the leader of the council, Sharon Taylor, has lived in Stevenage her entire life. One of the things they didn't think about was that if you build a whole town within a short period of time, and most of Stevenage was built between the 50s and the 70s, it all deteriorates at the same time, and that's an issue we, we are facing up to now. As Stevenage marks 70 years, new plans are now being drawn up for the next phase of regeneration and the next chapter in this new town's history. Kate Bradbrook, BBC London News, in Stevenage.